Hi, this is Rob from the Conover Company, and today I'm going to show you how to add your own items and categories to customize our shopping list generator for the iPod. This application is preloaded with 240 items and categories from our Grocery Signs and Words programs. You may want to add your own items and categories for things that may not be included in this application, or you may want to use this application in a different setting, for example, a department store or a pharmacy. To do this, you must be logged in as the administrator. So press the administrator icon located on the left side of the screen. Next, you will be prompted for the password. This area is password protected so the user cannot change or update the database. The default password is Conover in all lowercase letters. So enter that into the text field, then press Done. This will take you to the administrator panel. On the bottom of the screen, you will see a tab with a shopping cart icon called Items. Click here and it will take you to the master list of all category items. Now select Tools in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This will allow you to make changes to the database. Two things will happen. You will see a red minus sign appear to the left of each item. Two, you will see an Add button appear on the upper left corner of the screen. To delete an item or category, you would click the red minus icon. But today we are going to add a category and an item. So let's select the Add button. This will create a new category and you will be taken to the Category Detail screen. Type in the category name. For this example, we will create a Snacks category. After you are done typing, select Done in the bottom right corner. If you wanted to attach an image for this category, the Shopping List Generator allows you to either take a picture with a built-in camera or select a picture from the media roll so that you can have a visual reference for this category. When you are done, select Save in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This will take you back to the list of categories and when you scroll down you will see the Snacks category we just created. Select this category and you will be taken to the item screen. Because we just created this category, there are currently no items listed here. To add an item, select the Tools icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Just like with our categories, you will then select Add. You will then be taken to the Items Detail screen. In this example, we are going to use the snack Cheez-It. Type the name of this item in the Name field. You can also add a description if you'd like for more detail. As we mentioned earlier in this podcast, you can take a picture of the item or select one from the media roll for visual reference. Now select Save in the upper right hand corner of your screen to save your changes. Lastly, select the check mark in the upper right corner of your screen. You are now done adding your custom category and item. You can now use it when making lists.